All right, guys. So I got uh, got my selfie stick here this time. So just want to give you a recap. Uh, things obviously did not go as planned. Friday night we weren't able to get out here, and then or uh, Saturday, Friday night we weren't able to get racing, and then Saturday night we weren't able to get racing. A lot of stuff on the car just wasn't quite working properly when we scaled it. But we got out Sunday night and disaster struck. Got up into some slime, pushed up, got in slime, and tagged the fence, the guardrail, and that did not end well for us. Um, yeah, so there was a lot of people that uh, enjoyed the wrap on the car. Thank you, Nitro Wrap, and uh, we we're going to get work and get this car back out, but uh, I'll flip this. I can't flip the wrap. See if I can't flip this thing around. Nope. So... Behind me is the damage, the whole front end, whole front bumper is gone, it's off the car, uh, Bluetooth tires, um, this side is the actual side that didn't hit the guardrail, but yet the rear axle is bent, uh, that tear you see in the panel, that's the flag stand, saving me from uh, flipping into the fence and in the grandstands uh this car had a lot of good power it, it was hooked up it was just driver error um, we'll learn from it we'll get better it's not anything that i'm scared of to go out back again I'd, I'd go just as hard again uh you can't drive these things lightly and i i did drive a little light going into the corner and the result i pushed pretty hard coming out of the corner and this is what happens uh this is a side that did um hit <laughs> As you can see, uh, let's see here. We've got straps holding the wheel somewhat straight. The, that shock is uh, broke. The left rear shock is bent. Um, so that right, right here, that's what caught the guard. The guardrail pulled me into it. Uh, once you get off the track there, you get pulled into that guardrail it really uh it does a number to the car it's not very forgiving and that where the where the flag stand is at on the track it's it's not a bad spot but it's also when you get off the track there there is no saving it you can either come, try to come to a complete stop or you just try to power out of it and i had the tires turn left try to power out of it rear end caught spun me back into it and uh Actually, I'll show you. I'm pretty sure that's my nose. Uh, yep, that's my nose there. It's folded up, so I, I hit I hit one of the poles pretty hard when it spun me back around and back into the the fence. And you know, I, I will say right now these all these uh these containment seats, the helmet, the, the Hans device worked amazing. Um, my thumb and elbow is a little sore from my fire bottle coming out and the wheels kind of thrashing a little bit, but ultimately the safety devices on the car worked perfectly, did a great job. Um, that's not the way I want people to be seeing that Jesus died. <laughs> Jesus died for you here. That's the last way I want people to see it is up close and personal after a crash like that. Uh, but a lot of people saw it. This is just another one of those examples that, you know, it's, it, it really sucks because I was doing it for the glory of God and I don't even complete a qualifying lap and I, I slid up. And if anybody knows anything about clay, when it's wet, it's super greasy and slimy. You can slip falling like it's even worse than ice, I honestly believe. And we got into the wet crap and slicked and slid right off the edge and, once you get off that edge, it's such a steep bank going to that guardrail. I, I tried to save it and did not happen. Um, we got a little bit of work to do on the motor. It was smoking fairly bad, so some valve seats, we think, is what is the issue because everything else is done correctly. And that was the one thing that we probably didn't check from when we got the, the heads from a, a fellow racer. And But to, to finish this video off, this car will be back out uh, there's a little bit of damage on it we'll repair it we'll fix it up we'll change it um it look the body looks really bad a lot of the uh, pieces that broke were 
were parts that uh, the bolt on parts so they're just pull them off put them back on we'll make sure it's straight chassis and we'll make sure uh we get back out there but this this really sucks because right now this was uh this is a ministry and they go out on night one and put her into the fence like I did that's just that's not good um, we learned a lesson we're moving forward and this ministry is not going to stop just because of a crash I, I you know the one thing that some people ask me that haven't been around racing or sorry guys haven't been around driving or nothing like that they're like are you scared to go back out and absolutely not I'm not scared at all and and I would drive the same thing I'd actually probably drive a little harder going into the corner now knowing what was the results on the X is going to be. It, it, it wasn't too fast for me. It, it seemed slow, and that's a good thing. It wasn't overwhelming. It was just uh, a bad situation and a bad circumstance on my part. And we'll, we're going to thrash away. That's why I'm here today. We spent, I don't know, we were up Friday night till midnight, and then Saturday night we are up till 1 o'clock and had everything going good. and we'll we'll thrash away again on this car and get her out there as fast as possible hopefully we can make the end end of the season big big shows the three-day shows and because at those points that's when we can hold service we can hold church service we can we can really minister to people got we can share the truth gospel people are camping they're sacrificing a sunday service because of it and uh we can we can fill a role there and you know the one thing that the enemy doesn't want is glory and honor and praise going to god but ultimately that's why we're doing this. We're we're trying to put praise and glory to God and not ourselves. And He was praised and lifted up this past Sunday in worship and and this uh, the talk. Uh, the people that were showed up, um, I I really get choked up still thinking about it because I feel like I failed God and in the ministry part of it because I crashed it right off the chute and. And ultimately, that's not the case. I I can't fail God. He's that's why He died. He died for our sins. We can just learn and move forward. And you know, the enemy wants to stop this. The enemy wants to stop all of our momentum. But he's not gonna. We're not gonna let him win. We're gonna speak truth against him. We we rebuke him in the name of Jesus Christ. We we say, "Be gone in Jesus' name." Jesus' name has all authority and power. We rebuke him. The the thinking that I failed. That's not the case. It's just a feeling. It's not the knowing that I know. So the feeling is temporary, but my knowledge of God and who he is and his love toward me still, that, that has never failed. And, you know, my... When it happened, the crews at Merritt Speedway, I want to just say quick shout out to those guys they they made sure i was okay they asked about 10 different times are you sure you're okay are you sure you're okay and then as they took me off to to where we pitted i had three or four more of them guys come up to me are you sure you're okay and i i'm i'm good i'm a little sore but that's expected of a hard hit um the video circulating around i'm sure you guys can find it uh you know they did an amazing job to make sure i was okay that i was safe that I wasn't hurt or anything. I, I'm I'm okay. I'm good. The car looks way worse than it actually is. It it, it looked worse than it was in my angle. It was very slow. Um, didn't really have much time to react once it hit. It just it happened in a matter of less than a second. I was done. And my my initial reaction thought was that I let God down, and I let my dad down. I let all of you guys down. I let a lot of people down. Church family. Um, a lot of people praying for me in this ministry that we're, we're launching. And that was my first thought. And that's what emotions overwhelmed me and overcame me was that. was letting people down. I'm just being raw with you guys. Um, And and ultimately, <sighs> this isn't the end. I know I didn't let anybody else down. 
it just sucks because there was such a big mission focus here with this car and you know it, it's it's still going to continue whether we have the car or not we're going to still push forward throughout this week throughout this month um throughout this rest of this racing season we're, we're not going to stop with or without the car the car is amazing like focal point to to bring people to know christ and and to show and open up doorways for talk and conversation and and a softening of the heart through the holy spirit's working and to not have it out there really sucks it it, it it's a brutal blow and to everybody that was hoping to see me uh tonight autograph night everything you know i it it disappointing that this happened uh, nobody to blame but myself. The enemy has attacked us in every single way on this car. He's prevented us from doing a lot of stuff as far as numbers falling in line when we when we scale it. But we're going to continue to come and we're going to continue to really hash away on this car. And you know when when you think that you feel God, the enemy wants to just keep. Keep reminding you that you failed him, that you failed him, that, that, that you're not good enough to deserve his love. And my first words to my dad was, I'm sorry. Because, yeah, I, we've got a wrap on I mean, this is a ministry. But ultimately, this is his car and his parts, his motor. And, and my first words, words to him was, I'm sorry. And, All he cared about was if I was okay or not. And even to the, right now, I, I just feel sorry to God that I wasn't better, that I wasn't more, that I didn't go safer. And, and I think if you drive safe in these cars, you gotta be on the line of out of control, but yet in control. And that's just how they're made to drive. And I, I, was, I was a little too safe, a little too cautious a little bit. But uh, I'm really sorry for all the uh, wobbling here, guys. I, I really am. Um, but when we when we tear this thing apart, we'll find out how bad it is. The ministry is going to continue on. Satan's not going to have the victory. He may have won a battle, but the war is already done. He's already been defeated. And, and as much as he's going to try to stop us right now, it ain't going to work. We're going to continue to persevere. We're going to make get through because this is a ministry focused racing team and we're going to keep pushing so thank you guys for watching and we'll have some updates so keep following the page here and we'll have more updates for you guys here in a little bit thanks bye